Driving a servo feels so much more fun than playing with an LED. It isn't though any more complicated than fading an LED using PWM. It's very similar in fact, with a touch more mass. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. This is my three minute summary on driving servos for the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you have time, why not check out the full video? This video continues my Getting Started series of tutorials with the Raspberry Pi Pico. This video is about servos. A servo is a device that can rotate through 180 degrees normally. We can instruct the servo to turn to a specific angle. This is great in robotics. In fact, my robot Santa uses just two servos to control the movement of the head. We use the PWM signal on the Pico to tell the servo what angle to turn to. This works for most servo types. A couple of examples here would be the SG90 and the MG996. Bus servos that I use on my robot arm are different and use a different communication mechanism. When we look at PWM for fading the LED, we talked about duty cycle. For a servo though, we are interested in the pulse width rather than the duty cycle. We want to send a servo a specific pulse width to get it to rotate to an angle. For the MG996, that's 1500 microseconds, will get the servo to rotate to that center position. Calculating the pulse width is simple mass. I get the zero and 180 degrees pulse width from the data sheet and confirm that with experimentation. Then calculate any other angles using these two fixed points. These servos have three wires. The brown is ground, the red is the power supply and orange the PWM signal. The orange can be connected directly to the Pico or onto a pin for PWM. Red should go to six volts for the supply for an MG996, but I sometimes cheat and use the USB power supply. I can pick that up from VBus. Ground should be a common ground. I've got code which shows how to do this, and I've shared this on GitHub. The important part is configuring the slicer for the PDOEM to give a 20 millisecond frequency. This way we can use the level as the pulse width. My demo program just moves the servo through a set of positions with sleeps in between. Servos are easy to work with due to the PWM capability of the Pico. We can manage up to 16 servos on a Pico, so plenty for most projects. If you enjoyed this video and want to try something else with a, with a servo, then why not take a look at my hack for reading the angle of a servo by adding a fourth wire. If this video or any of my videos helped you out, why not buy me a virtual cup of coffee or lunch to say thank you? There's now that super thanks feature live on my channel. Just click the button. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then of course hit that like button. It really does encourage me. And please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. Goodbye for now.